Oh, we just suck something up. All right, time for a bit of IDF. Listen. There we go. That's so smelly. <laughs> Look at them all, they're all taking off and they're all flying back towards their nesting area, which is just on the uh, right-hand side of the Burlington Skyway. Welcome to another video. First Sea Dew video in quite a while I'm going to be doing. Uh, it got off to a bad start though. This is the second time I've driven down this road in the last couple of hours. When I left this morning, like three hours ago, uh, to my, where I'm meant to be going, I got to the launch and as I pulled in, I was like, I'm missing something. I'm sure I am. Turns out I'm missing my camera bag. I had packed everything but got distracted by my neighbor's little girl who was asking me a question as I was about to leave. I shouldn't blame on her, but I did get distracted. I ended up, put, uh, ended up grabbing my spare tire from my trailer just in case. And then she asked me a question and I thought I had everything. So I'm driving along, I get to my destination, doom, no camera bag. So thankfully my wife and daughter drove halfway to meet me and drop it off. So now I'm heading back to where I'm going. So where am I going, you may ask? Well, I'm heading to Hamilton. Um, I went there last year and the year before, but I want to give you a good show around of Hamilton and also the boat, the boat launch I'm using. Um, I didn't record the boat launch last year when I was there, but I noticed it had a refurb and it's kind of nice now. Uh, when I was there two years ago, it was very gravelly, grassy, dirty, whatever, but they give it a facelift and I'll show you that uh, launch very shortly. I'm just like 10, 15 minutes away and I'm heading to Hamilton. Your typical Friday traffic here on the QEW. Oh, it's amazing what a difference a couple of hours makes. Anyway, I'm getting off at this next exit and we're going to check out the boat ramp here and get a sea dew in the water and go for a ride around Billington Bay, uh, check out parts of Hamilton and then uh, maybe nip out onto Lake Ontario as well. I mean, um, we'll just check it all out and let's have a good day on the water. So this is where we're going, Fisherman's Pier, which is right underneath the Billington Skyway. And what I will tell you, this is probably one of the smelliest boat ramps you'll ever come to in your life. <laughs> it's bad. Anyway, let's go and find out where I've paid. There's no one here. All right, I'm just... There's a pizza place here. Porta potty? I guess you just... I don't know. Paint display? Change room, Valton Stormer. Uh... Welcome to blah 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 blah. Use your own rest, hours of operation, five to blah blah blah. Here we are. I just paid. Uh, the attendant came around. 25 bucks, park launch. Uh, there used to be a hut here, so they got rid of that. And this all used to be gravel around here. And as you can tell, it's all nicely paved. Now, it's, it's loud here because right above me is the Billington Skyway. And the Billington Skyway takes you right over the entrance to the harbour here, Billington Bay. So we'll have a quick look down at the ramp. Now, the reason why I say it smells down here so bad is uh, the birds are all nesting around here the whole time. So you can really smell some days. So basically the ramp's full of bird shit. It's like a big plastic dock, floating dock. You just go down there and get off, and then you go and park up around here and done. So let's get the CD ready and let's hit the water and uh, have some fun. So, anyway, yeah, I got the CD down no problem. No one was rushing me, there's no one here, it's nice. Uh, I'll tell you one thing though, it stinks, uh, it's slippy, there's bird poop everywhere, it's loud. So, I think my plan is to get out of here as quick as I can before I get shit on. Muck for luck, they say. All right, let's get uh, ready to get on out of here. My God, he's so loud. That's so smelly. <laughs> oh, 
The, the beauty thing about launching from here. Oh, look at the water. Uh, literally, if I turn right and go out there, I'm, I'm on Lake Ontario. It's going to be nice and clean. Uh, you just got to get away from this little bit here. Already, my CD is making a knocking sound. I, I think I'm sucking up a lot of crap, so I need to get out of here quick. So what we'll do, I'll take you out onto the uh, the water bit there, onto the lake. Have a little ride around, then we'll come back into this bay and have a good ride round. We'll do it in a counterclockwise, anti-clockwise way. I believe that you guys will call it counterclockwise. I'll call it anti. Oh yeah, I got a knocking sound, so I've got some goink in there. So uh, we'll head out onto Lake Ontario and take it from there. Keep away from them ones. Right, I'll slow right down, but look at that. <laughs> it's like a minefield. I've, I've been on the water so many times and I've never seen anything like that. Like, I've been down to this part of Lake Ontario about six or seven times and never once had I had seen anything like this. This is weird. I know that I know the mating season and the nesting season was a few months ago, but look at this, I'm getting closer to them now. Look at them, they're all taking off and they're all flying back towards their nesting area, which is just on the uh, right hand side of the Burlington Skyway. So if you're ever on the Burlington Skyway, as you, uh, as you go up, you look down, there's a nesting area just down there and there's another one on the other side of the Skyway to the right. Oh my God, they've been disturbed, there we go. Com comorants, comorants, is that the word I'm looking for? Nice fun. 
fantastic. So right in front of me, uh, the skyline of the city of Burlington and the waterfront properties, the high rises, the condos, and of course a few nice posher houses. Just riding along the coastline here of Lake Ontario at the bottom end. If I have to continue going straight right now, I'll be in Toronto uh, in about 45 minutes. Uh, the, the water is perfect for it, but I've been caught out a few times coming back where the weather has turned nasty and a 45 minute ride turns into like two hours and you, you just get battered and bruised, so make sure you plan accordingly. So we're going to start the little journey from here because there's some nice properties along here. kind of hard to believe when you look at it right here how calm it is that you could be mistaken that you're in Georgian Bay or something it's just beautiful but yet you're in the heart just over there at the industrial area of uh, Ontario the uh, steel mills and stuff like that are all over there the city of Hammer uh, city of Hammer uh, Hammer Town the city of Hamilton Burlington is actually a very beautiful place to live, uh, really, especially down by the waterfront, of course. The top end of Burlington just looks like Mississauga, trust me. I see it a lot. Uh, but the bottom bit by the lake and the downtown is uh, really, really nice. I'm in six feet of water, so I best be careful. I don't think there's any rocks listed anywhere, no. It's actually pretty clear here. Check this out for a sea dew launch. They look like sea dews. And I love it. The British flag is correctly placed below the Canadian flag. But look, check this out. Now that's a nice little pad, eh? And the water's about four feet here. Three and a half, four feet. Oh, the, the Yamahas? Yeah, the Yamahas. Town Burlington and every year they have a big festival here uh, the Sound of Music Festival uh, don't worry Julie Andrews isn't here it's just called Sound of Music and they have some big name bands here it's like a three-day event that goes on and over the years there's been some big headlining acts here uh, so usually this place uh, I think it's the first weekend second weekend of June I think they have it on or it's sometime in June anyway so when the winds are in an easterly direction around here these are the, uh, the protection areas uh, the steel wall, then the cement wall behind it, because this gets battered pretty hard when you get an easterly wind off Lake Ontario. 
Anyway, just down here is a nice beach. It looks pretty busy. We'll have a little look at that. Then we'll head into the harbour. So this is Burlington Beach. There's quite a few people here today, it's a Friday. When I'm coming over the Skyway, I quite often look down here and I can see how busy it is. It's nice. I get envious of people just being here on the beach while I'm working. Um, but yeah, there's a few people down here, tents up. Uh, the thing is, I don't think there's any facilities around here. So if you come down here, be prepared because there may be a little washroom out there, but I don't think there's anything else. Um, or actually, tell a lie. Isn't this where uh, the fish and chip place is? On the other side of the trees? And there's a bar in the corner, I think. Or is that the other side of the sky? No, it's here. It's definitely here. Hutches? Hutches, that's what I'm thinking of. I think this is what's down here. I honestly believe this is probably uh, not the cleanest of water here. Uh, not so much because of Hamilton, but all the crap gets blown this way off the lake. And with all the birds as well, I mean, you still smell a little bit of it in the air. All right, back inside the uh, bay here. Skyway is uh, just behind me. Uh, the water is just disgusting. That is the uh, building for the Canada Centre of Inland Waters. It's their headquarters, all federal, and all the boats, fisheries and stuff like that. Anything to do with federal government is all based there when it comes to the water. So we'll go around to the, to the right, counterclockwise. Cormorants we saw out on the uh, Lake Ontario. Well, they're all here. This is where they've all flown into. Thousands of them just over there. So we'll stay away. I have seen people try that. And I, I discourage anyone in a, a jet ski, personal watercraft, whatever, going anywhere near there. Leave and be is a wildlife refuge there. Stay way away. Uh, every now and then you'll see guys from the fisheries at uh, the inland water place with their little rowboat will go up there and check on a few uh, things you have on the little islands here. But, oh my God, that's disgusting, that smell. <laughs> oh, woo! Look how close we are to one of the busiest arteries of roadways in southern Ontario. This is the main artery that will connect uh, the United States. I mean, we'll talk about the 401, but the QEW is, an, is, is, is a very popular and very much used uh, route for transporting goods into um, the States, basically. You know what I always like to bring with me on one of these adventures? The coffee. <laughs> I'm glad when I drove up here this morning, I bought two coffees, one to drink in the car and one to put in here. Because the two hour delay having to go back and find my camera equipment, <laughs> this is still hot, <laughs> which is nice. I have a habit, I have a problem, I can't drink cold coffee. Unless it's got ice in it, but as soon as it goes warm or lukewarm, it's, it, it just makes me want to throw up. Now here's another public uh, boat ramp. This is part of Burlington. This is LaSalle Park. I launched from here twice before. It's actually a really nice ramp, but unfortunately, it's very small. It's uh, limited for parking, so you got you to get down here pretty quick for this one. But it's a nice little marina for people. It's very clean, it's very tidy. La Salle. That house on the red really sticks out. It's meant to be modern, but it has that 70s vibe being rectangular to me. But yeah, it's modern. So 
So right in front of me is the entrance to Coot Paradise. Basically, it's a little lock system. I can't go any further. Uh, is it a lock or is it just a weir? Anyway, it drops down a few feet into another part of water, which is Coot's Paradise, a sanctuary for wildlife. It's actually really nice. If you drive along the 403, which is here, and look, you'll see it down there. Now, there's a boat about a kilometer away from me. It's so loud. Must be one of those little tour boats. And that is as far as I'll go. Look at that. Downtown Hamilton, just over there. And the train station in front of us is West Harbour. Now you can't go any further, there's Marcus place just over here. You can't go any further than that. No boat could be on there, which is a shame because I'd like to have explored up there. But uh, follow the rules, Nigel. Don't do it. All right, could this be the saddest pirate ship I have ever seen? <laughs> this is where that noise is coming from, that music. Oh, but they're having a good day out. Let's have a look. And the boobs are hanging out. Hardies, hoi, hoi, the dancer. Oh, the kids are loving it. a bit of fun <laughs> anyway yeah west harbour let's have a look in here now last time i came down here i couldn't get up here because i had a sailing regatta going on so it was all blocked off it's hard to think something so nice is down here in the heart of hamilton and i have a love-hate relationship with hamilton there's a part of it I actually really like, and there's a part of it I really hate. It's the dirt, the poverty, the grime. But I'm also fascinated by the, all the old buildings, but unfortunately, it's all that uh, homelessness. Well, some of it's homelessness, some of it's life choices, right? Uh, but that's political, we'll stay out of that, uh, in my own opinion. Uh, but down here, literally just a stone's throw away from the heart of the city of Hamilton, is this. Couple of swans. So there you have it, it's as far as I can go down here. So yeah, there's a boat ramp right there. I don't know if it's, I don't know how it costs, but it belongs to the city of Hamilton. So just check it out on the uh, Google and you'll find out. Anyway, here comes our pirates again. Oh, we just sucked something up. All right. Time for a bit of IDF. Listen. 
There we go. Seed you ever did. And bingo! It works again. Tight it. You gotta get it with IDF. You have to. Water's gone a little choppy here, as you can tell. Nice walk along here, all the way along the waterfront. Takes you right up to where the ship is, really. It's quite nice. Could that be Barton Street over there, then, I wonder? Anyway, right, it's good. Cool. It's got a little nosy up here. A couple of ships up here. Um, Federal Caribou is the one I'm looking at right now, and there's one beyond it. I don't know what it is. We'll check that out shortly, but let's go have a look at the Federal Caribou. Oh, also, while we're in here, the uh, the old World War II ship, I don't think I ever saw a service, he's actually here. Go a quick look at that? Okay, quick look. So it would have been vessels just like this one, which were out there in the Atlantic fighting uh, World War II. HCMSC Haida? Haida. Just checking out all the boats down here in the uh, working away from all over different parts of the world. These guys are unloading steel. I don't know what the other one is. I think they're both unloading steel. Coils of steel, there they are, like that. This is my fourth season on the Sea Doo, and I'm loving it. But with the cost of everything going up last year and into this year, I've really started to feel the pinch myself uh, more than what I expected. So I've had to cut back a little bit on some of my traveling and stuff like that and doing my Sea Doo videos because it is quite, it, it's costly. And I've, I've opted, I've, I've started to find a little niche here. We're doing ship videos. That's with a P, by the way. And um, uh, I can stay close to home. It's not costing me as much to go out there and do this on the Sea Doo. And I get to all have a lot of enjoyment. But that said, I do still have a couple of big adventures planned. Uh, I'm out in the coming week with Mark Forrest up north. And I believe we have another trip planned in August. So there will be a couple of specials coming up soon if you're enjoying the CD video. So on that note, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll be back very, very shortly with another CD adventure video. If you want to stick around, just check out my other videos. We'll be doing storms and also ships of the Great Lakes. So plenty of material for you to look at. And when I'm doing the ships, quite often I'm on the Sea Doo. So it's, uh, you get to see the Sea Doo anyway. All right, I'm gonna go home and get hosed off, bleach myself down and, you know, disinfect myself in the sea, dude. Cheers, guys.